much stuff are you doing in, in practice these days? Uh, I do everything in practice. Um, you know, I do my own little live segment, you know, after practice or before practice, you know, um, until like the start of next week, then I'll start getting back into live. But, you know, I've been feeling 100%, uh, you know, for, you know, a couple of weeks now. But, you know, now it's just uh, putting the last finishing touches on it. Without, yeah, for sure. And you know, it's kind of getting you know colder, so you know, I don't know. I'm gonna try. I, 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 get, I try to get out there on some Sundays, but besides that, uh, yeah, it's pretty much in the backseat. Yeah, um, you know, that's a. Uh, you know, that's my that's that's who helped me you know through everything uh, you know we've been through a lot together so you know us just having a great relationship you know it means a lot to me um, but you know yeah but besides that man he's pretty much you know my, my rock pretty much. What's, what do you hope is different? Um, well, some things that I know will be different is you know I'm a lot more confident. I feel like things slow down a lot for me. You know, sitting back for nine months and. You know, just watching a lot of basketball, um, you know, and also going into my third year. Uh, so that's probably, you know, just being confident, more confident in general, and just feeling, you know, uh, and just being a leader on the court. You said you feel 100%, you felt 100%. How tough is it to feel that way and still have to kind of be limited in practice? Uh, you know, it's tough, but going into it, I was never trying to rush it. Um, you know, people, you know, I was talking to other people that I know that have had similar injuries to me, and the main thing was just, you know, not to rush back, because, you know, it's going to be hard not to rush back, watching your teammates go live and stuff, but uh, it's definitely been tough, but I'm in no rush. So you talk about, you know, during the injury, you were able to pick things up, you know, kind of watch a lot more basketball. Uh, what specifically during all of that was it that helped you out uh, just, you know, to stay focused on basketball? Uh, watching the other team play, you know, because obviously I watch my team play a lot, but, you know, getting to study other teams, you know, that helped a lot. Um, obviously, SEC, we play all those teams again, so, you know, just getting to study those teams also, so that'll probably be it. Have you seen any changes in Jalen Green? What have those changes been? You know, this year he's definitely came um, with a whole different mindset. You know, last year he's, you know, one of our, you know, not one of our best practice players, but this year he's definitely one of our best practice players. Um, he definitely just came in, you know, diff just different mindset in general. Uh, he's been a great leader, uh, great for the younger guys, um, and also great for, you know, the transfer. All right, so for both of you, just how is this week going, getting, you know, trying to get in the conditioning and all that stuff? Uh, it's going good, you know, practice has been going good, you know, just trying to get in better shape, get in as, as much shape as we can for the upcoming season. It's going to be a good one. So just trying to get better every single day Katie as a team Adams, and as a player. You, uh, tell me who so for you specifically, uh, what we hear a lot is that you're, you know, great defender, lockdown defender. You know, how much do you work with Devo Davis, a guy who's also viewed as, you know, kind of an elite defender? Uh, in practice, me and Devo, you know, we, we talk a lot, uh, especially more on the defense. We talk a lot on both sides of the floor, but Especially more on the defense end, I feel like we kind of had a little connection of you know, knowing where to be in certain situations and stuff like that. So it's definitely a good, good, good thing we have going on. So, uh, you know, how have you felt, you know, the chemistry of the team? You know, a lot of new guys, but it seems like you guys were working well today at practice. Uh, I think in a short time we've had, we've, we've been working well together. You know, we got a lot of new faces, a lot of new guys, but ever since we came in here, ever since that first practice, we've all, you know, just gelled together. And then we've been gelling together real quickly, and this is going to get better over the season. So, so Jeremiah said that KB would probably – beat anybody on the team in a one-on-one. -on -one. Whoa, whoa. So, uh, you, you agree with that? Jamal Park right here, this that's guy right you here. You think it would be him? So. That's true. Eight seconds and less than that clock right there. Guess what I'm giving the ball to. You this think so? Right here. Yeah. This so, right here. but why Why would he say KB? What is it about him? I mean, I would, I would give the ball to KB too. No, he and just <laughs> give the ball to KB and just space out. Yeah, that's what I do. We need a bucket, that's what I do. Right no. there. I'm glad he said that. That's no. the truth right there. No, that's Why are you saying no? Um, that's the truth right no. there. If you look at, I always we could drop like a highlight film of this summer and who was cooking. I mean, this guy's doing like spin step backs and he looked like Kobe slash nah, Jordan nah. slash, like, you know what I'm saying, Devin nah. Booker, mid-range specialist, three-point nah. specialist. He was just any way possible he was doing, you know what I'm saying? So. Okay. Well, uh, who, who, do you guys, who do you guys hate to guard on the team? Who's your least favorite guy to go this up against? Right. 
Him? <laughs> That's definitely him. <laughs> definitely him. Alright, you guys can't choose each other. Someone oh. else. Can't choose each other? I say... Probably Joseph, because I don't like chasing shooters. Yeah. He's a shooter. He likes to run around a lot. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Either him or Devo. Yeah, him or Devo. Because I know Devo going to give me his... Devo don't... So I don't know what Devo wants. He never runs out of energy. He just <laughs> never always, runs out of energy. He just always somewhere. <laughs> so it's just like... Yeah. Him definitely him or Devo. Yeah. Coach just got done telling us that Devo is like bionic. He just runs on batteries. You know, he talked about conditioning with the team. No offense to you guys, but he said that Diva, it's like Diva, and then everybody else needs to improve. Do you guys kind of agree? So, what I mean, like, what what was it about today's practice that made you so tired, or is that kind of like, you know, you're always getting real tired at the end of practice? Have y'all seen what we was doing from Monday and then last week and then the week before that and the week before that? You know, I feel like we just, we just been working so hard that our bodies are kind of like, you know, are kind of tired, but we're still getting better from it because we're able to push. During the season, it's going to be just like this. So you got to, we're just wi being wired to. Um, it, it, I feel like it's going to be easier during the season, too, because just because our body's getting accustomed to it right now. So it'll, it'll definitely be easier. All right. So just overall, how do you think that the off season went for you? Uh, it went good for me. Um, we got a lot of conditioning, a lot of team bonding, a couple of late days, you know. I think that's was big for us because uh, we all knew uh, trying to get that camaraderie and that team chemistry together uh, before our first game or the white game and stuff like that. Uh, but all in all, it's been good. And it, for you as a, as a guy who's had a year in the program, a lot of new faces, how have you been able to take that experience and help the other guys? Um, just taking all the little things that I know um, and try to apply to them and tell them before, you know, like Coach Must says, you know, he's, he's going to say it right after me. Um, and just keeping the guys uh, along the way, um, you know, whether it's little stuff, things that coach wants and he don't really say, um, you know, with my experience and stuff like that, I feel like I can step in a little bit and, and try to coach the guys up a little bit. Um, I feel like that have, I have that type of veteranship. Um, and, uh, you know, I earned it. So um, it's just been good trying to get them on board um, to the program and to how we run things and uh, really establishing like the things that takes no talent. Yeah. So obviously you're a unique situation because your brother was here last year and then he had to transfer out. That process of like your brother leaving and then, I mean, I'm sure you saw there were always rumors of you going with him. What was that situation like? Uh, it's, all, it's all social media. Um, you know, I don't really feed into it. Um, I'm happy my brother got to his destination. He's two hours away. Um, he's at a good spot uh, in the OBC at Little Rock. Um, and, you know, I'm just happy for him. Um, I'm happy that I'm in the position I am. Um, you know, just fair a great feeling. And so we talk about your brother transferring. Of course, you know, Mus is viewed as, like, the transfer portal guy. So I, it's kind of a weird question, but for someone who – you like, your roster spot was kind of locked in because you had already been on the team – you know, how crazy is it to just watch all the rumors of Arkansas has contacted this guy, this guy, you know, all that stuff? Uh, I wasn't really phased by it. Um, I know what I am. I know what I'm capable of. Um, I know my strengths. I know my weaknesses. Uh, so I really wasn't uh, worried about, too worried about that. Um, you know, I'm just here working on my game. Yeah. And for you specifically, based on your season last year, like, has, have there been any specific things that you really – you know, hit on, like, I really want to be better at this? Um, you know, stepping out, expanding my game, um, that's been a huge, uh, huge jump for me this summer. Um, you know, extending my race to the three-pointer, hitting that 15-footer. Um, I started showing flashes towards the end, um, but I want to show more of that, um, you know, this up-and-coming season that I can hit the three at a high level and uh, expand my game, you know, dribble pubs and stuff like that. Um, I've been looking real good in practice. Um, I'm real comfortable with it because um, I've been, I've been the work that I put in the all season. So I'm excited. Yeah. So you know, I noticed at practice today, you look like really quick, moving really well. Has that been something that you focused on in the off season, just conditioning? Yeah, just um, conditioning, adding adding good weight, um, just getting more stronger, more faster. Uh, you know, getting getting ready for SEC play. Um, and then, you know, just working for, for that also on the defensive end, um, moving la better laterally, um, just being more quick on defense, getting the spots, stuff like that, for sure. So going back to after last season, 
um, you know, deciding to come back to Arkansas for another year, was that like always what you were going to do, or were you considering other things? Um, no, no. Me and coach, me and coach talked right out, right, pretty much right after uh, March um, about about what's going on, and he saw I was in the gym right after this, just working out, you know, a lot, and just you know, look more, look more, uh, you know, intense and focus on my craft and stuff like that. So, me and him talking, we just thought it was the best thing for me to come back, and uh, after that, you know, that, that was pretty much it. And so for you, you've been in the program for a year. All these new guys come in. You know, how do you use that to your advantage, not only as an individual, but to help the other guys? Um, I think using it to my advantage was just me coming in and setting the tone. Um, you know, everybody knows. I mean, if you have a lot of older guys, so they know how it is. But it's still it's still different coming to, you know, Arkansas, the practices, right off the rip, how the plays. We, we do a new play every, every day. So. Yeah, just coming in here, just uh, setting the tone. And um, but these guys, these guys learn really fast. Being uh, vet veterans in college, and uh, so yeah, that, that's pretty much what, what I did right after it. Have you noticed that with all with all the new guys coming in, have you kind of hung out around the guys that were with the team last year a little bit more, or have you tried to spend more time with the newer guys to get to know them? Um, I think just because everybody's pretty much older, I think we're like the third oldest team. I think we all gel well. We all we all come in here with a purpose, and you know that brought us I think all together. Um, I hang out with, you know, T Mark, hang out with T B, you know, I just hang out with everybody. Um that's that's one thing, you know, I, I felt like last year we, we kinda lacked it was that outside stuff. So I mean I just wanna bring everybody together and hang out with everybody. And for you individually, uh what can people look for that you've really improved on from last year? Um spacing the floor on offense, um, you know, just, just help help my teammates more off more and rebounding and playing more defense. Um just being more more intense, you know, just being more uh, prepared, looking more, you know, ready to go, I guess. Uh, I just watched a lot of film myself last year and, you know, talked to the coaches, and, you know, just kind of uh, realized what I needed to do. So I'm ready to go. Okay. Uh, Jaheim Thomas, what can, what can you tell me about your relationship with him? We talked to him in, in the preseason. He said he knew you. Obviously, you guys came from the same school. Jaheim Thomas? Yeah. Linebacker transfer Linebacker from, Cincinnati from Cincinnati on the football team. Oh you man, I'm tweaking. My bad. <laughs> That's okay. I'm, 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 I'm tweaking. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my guy. Okay. You know, he's obviously on the other end of football. But, yeah. You know, I know him since high school. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, he's been a big prodigy, you know, coming out of high school. He's coming from being from the same city, you know, having the same, you know, I'll say clout mm-hmm. co- co- coming up and. You know, he actually committed to Arkansas before me. And uh, when I found out I committed, when I, when I committed, I found out he committed. Okay. So I'm like, oh, wow, like, you know, we're going to be up there together. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that's my guy. Okay. That's my guy. I want to hit you real quick with some rapid-fire questions, okay? The only rule is you can't answer with your own name. It's got to be a teammate. Okay, okay. Right, I can't I'm answer my, my I'm, own name? No, you can't answer with yourself. It's got to be somebody else, all right? I'm going to hit you real quick. All right. One-on-one tournament, who wins? KB. Okay. Khalif. Who's the best shooter? Caleb. Uh, JP. Okay. Best Me, dunker. For real. But, um, I like that. Best dunker? I'll say TB. Okay. Best ball handler? Uh, L. Okay. Ellis. Best defender? Devo. Who's got the deepest bag in the post? Deepest bag in the post? Mm-hmm. JG. Okay. Who's the best hooper on the coaching staff? Can't say Coach Brew. Best hooper on the coaching staff? Uh, Low key Klein. Really? Caleb Klein. Okay. He got a serious bag, I feel like. I like it. I like yeah. it a lot. Okay. And then last one for you, you had to pick one game on the schedule that you're most excited for. What would it be? I love him, but um uh, <laughs> I would say Duke game. Duke game? Okay. Duke. Get him at the crib? Yeah, Duke at the crib. That's that's gonna be very tight. It's going to be very tough. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun.